If estate planning is important to you, we recommend you consider an innovative product, Joint Last to Die Life Insurance. Although it's not as well known as single life insurance, the benefits to married couples can be much greater. Let's look at how these two insurance programs compare. Single life coverage is based on the life of a single individual. On the death of the insured, it pays a tax-free death benefit. Joint Last to Die Insurance is a single contract based on the lives of two or more people. On the death of the second person, a tax-free death benefit is paid. As a result, the cost of this type of insurance is considerably less than single life insurance. Premiums for Joint Last to Die Life Insurance can be significantly lower compared to single life coverage. For example, Purchasing $250,000 of permanent insurance on the single life of a husband would cost $2,812 per year. The same amount of insurance on the single life of a spouse would cost $2,153 per year. However, if $250,000 of insurance were purchased on a joint last to die basis, the cost would be $1,348 per year, a savings of 53% for the husband and 37% for the spouse. This makes joint last to die insurance an ideal financial planning tool for many needs that focus on estate planning. This type of insurance should not be used for income replacement purposes because the benefit is not paid out until the last death of two people. If you own any of these assets, joint last to die insurance may be of particular benefit. Registered assets such as RRSPs, shares in private or publicly traded companies, real estate, such as a family cottage. Joint last to die insurance enables some specific strategies related to these assets. Funding capital gains liabilities, estate equalization, more flexibility in the transfer of wealth to younger generations, giving to charity and legacy planning, Let's look more closely at some of these strategies. The first has to do with funding capital gains. Many estate planning strategies defer the payment of tax for as long as possible. Upon death, you're deemed to dispose of all your capital property. The difference between what you paid for a property and the fair market value at death is taxed as a capital gain. The Income Tax Act allows married couples to roll over capital property at cost between spouses upon the death of one of them. This defers the capital gain and any associated taxes until the last death. Joint last to die insurance is the perfect solution for funding this tax liability as the funds become available exactly when they're needed upon the last death. A common asset that will generate a capital gain upon the last death of spouses is the family cottage. In many cases, the cottage has been owned by the family for a long period of time and has appreciated significantly in value. This appreciation will create a considerable tax liability that could put the transfer of the family cottage in jeopardy. Joint last to die insurance can fund this tax liability. Another strategy is estate equalization. Let's say a family owns a business and that only one of the family's two children has any interest in being involved in that business further down the road. The parents want the business to be left to the child that's involved, but they want the other child to receive something of equal value. A joint last to die insurance policy is exactly what they need. Not only can it fund the capital gains tax on the transfer of the business, but it can provide the funds to equalize the estate with the other child. Many families don't own a business, but almost all families have money in RRSPs. Did you know that upon the last death of two spouses, all the money that is left in your RRSP comes into income and is taxed at the full rate? This can cause your estate to be significantly reduced. A joint last to die policy can fund this tax bill and keep your estate intact for your heirs. Another strategy involves the transfer of wealth to younger generations. Using our previous example of annual premiums of $1,348, you can see that your investment works extremely efficiently over the life of your policy. 
This chart shows the return based on some assumed dates of last death. In today's interest rate environment, these are very attractive rates of return. Think about that special cause or an organization that you support. Wouldn't it be nice to leave them a substantial gift or legacy? The attractive returns in joint last to die insurance are ideal for this. It's an excellent financial tool for Canadians. There are several other uses for this type of insurance. Such things as joint insured annuities and many corporate applications. To find out if these concepts are right for you, please speak with your advisor. Joint last to die insurance, an excellent estate planning product with a host of benefits to keep in mind.